Renee, we were, I was concentrating on her nose and her cheeks. As you can tell here, Renee's nose looks like it could have been broken. And I wanted to give her definition and kind of give her a youthful shape to her face. Okay, so now let's see what you did for Renee. Sure, well, with three shades of foundation, I created a nose. And I'm using a highlighter around her T-zone. I'm creating her nose with the shade. You see, I'm drawing the lines. I'm drawing the darker lines that now she looks like the Lion King. But eventually, I am going to be blending it out lightly. So that and making I'm, cheekbones. And making cheekbones, yeah. making a nose, and giving a really nice, healthy shape that has all the right features in her beautiful face. All right, let's check out the new Renee. focus on her eyes. I've noticed a recent trend amongst Asian women to have this eyelid surgery. It's basically to create a crease on the upper lid. Now besides the cost and pain factors, you know, I feel this can really permanently change the natural beauty in her ethnic look. That's right. So with Rita, what I did was I applied a foundation and I lightly powdered. I used a light colored eyeshadow all over her lid a liquid black liner at the lash line, and then a dark shadow to soften and smoke out the liner. And then I used the, to, for the crease a soft, a soft color, and then a darker color to define the crease. Uh -huh. And then underneath a black pencil, and then soften that out as well with an eyeshadow. Then I curl the lashes and apply mascara, and I'm ready to continue on with the rest of the makeup ap application. Beautiful. <laughs> self-conscious about her red and splotchy face and she also wants fuller looking lips and to bring out the beauty in her eyes. So we don't want her to do dermabrasion, I got it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So instead of the collagen and expensive dermabrasion or chemical peels, we're going to create her winning look with makeup. So what I did with Colleen was, I used the red neutralizer with this yellowish undertone to cover the redness where necessary. Then I proceed with a light foundation and I powder all over. And then for the eyes, I use a neutral color all over the lid, then smoke out the eyeliner, a medium shade in the crease, and then define it with a darker shade. Then I highlight the brow bone, and then I smoke out the eyeliner. And then for the lips, I use a creamy lip liner all over, gradually increasing to your desired shape and size. And then when I'm done with that, I top it off with uh, a shimmery gloss, and she's all ready to go. Yay! Good job. <laughs> well, you see, Tiffany's face is darker than her neck, so we didn't want her going the Michael Jackson route by bleaching, and I decided no, to... not. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to lighten up her face by using makeup instead. And then I'm also going to contour her nose and cheekbones and bring out her eyes and make her lips more subtle and sexy. So with Tiffany, what I did was, I begin with these two shades of foundation lighter than her own skin. And then I use the light in the T-zone and the darker all over, gently blending the two. Then I contour the nose with a darker shade and then blend and powder to set. Then for the eyes, I apply a dark shadow on the lid. And when wet, the shadow can be used as a liner. Then I blend it out. I blend it at the crease, smoke out the bottom eyeliner, and then I highlight the brow bone, and I contour the cheekbones. And for the lips, you can use the, the light foundation color all over, then lie the inside for the inside size that you want, and then top it off with a tinted or a clear gloss. Gorgeous. dark circles all around her eyes, which is actually hereditary, but I mean, she looks like she doesn't get enough sleep, and really, nowadays, who does? Uh, she also was considering an expensive eye lift, as well as permanent electrolysis to reshape her eyebrows. And if you notice, Rachel has a scar on her lower lip, so we solved her problem areas with simple makeup tricks. And uh, starting with Rachel's eyes, what I did was, I used this creamy white pencil to outline the shape of the eyebrow, you know, to the size that she liked. And then I plucked and oh, trimmed the brows, cool. applying astringent and moisturizer when done. So instead of using a light concealer, I used the salmon color to cover the bluish dark circles, applying it all around the eye area. I then blend it, apply foundation on the face, and then I lightly powder. I use a tan shadow to contour the nose, and for the lips, I use a healing ointment covered up with a little concealer and then with some powder, and that really creates a nice barrier. Then you cover it up with uh, lipstick and gloss if you like, and go on with your day as usual. And what did you want to focus on, Rita? Well, with Rita, we're going to focus on her breasts. Uh, Rita, like many women, wants to have a more voluptuous look.
palette. First applying the light shade in the center between the breasts and then applying a darker shade to the cleavage area. To give like a rounded illusion, I use windshield wiper-like strokes and I go into the clothing area to create like a nice even flow. And then once more, I use the highlighter to blend out anything that might look too harsh. And now we've got cleavage. All right, well, I want you to see Rita oh, wow. now. Turn around, Miss Rita. <laughs>